Okay, ISO line number seven. Let's take a look. Okay, this time around we're going to incorporate a new tool called Protractor. Um, if you don't have the Protractor turned on, let's go back to SketchUp. Um, if you see it here, there it is, it's available for you. If you don't see it, underneath Tools, you can also select Protractor. But this is called the Large Tool Set here at the top. So one other thing you may want to check is under Toolbars that the Large Tool Set is turned on. That way the Protractor is always there. But once again, you can also access it underneath Tools and click on Protractor. Unfortunately, no shortcut key. All right, looking back at the drawing here, as before, four inches in length, inch and a half wide, two and a half inches tall, and then we have kind of this V-notch. This is a really easy drawing. So let's start with our solid, R for rectangle. Click once, move away from the origin, type in four, comma, 1.5, P for push-pull, click once, go up 2.5, Now this time around, like I've done before, um, I can zoom in. And I could work on it from this perspective, but if you have the views available, you can also go ahead and go ahead and use front and just look at it straight on like this. Once again, that's underneath the view, toolbars, views. Make sure that's selected if you want to use that feature. So here's how the protractor works. It's, it's a pretty simple tool. I first needed to uh, figure out what this point is, which we know is three quarters of an inch in. Same thing's happening over here. But then I'm going to draw, draw a 45 degree protractor guideline here, another one here. Then I'm actually going to use the line tool to kind of uh, place a line over those guides. So here's how it all comes together. Let's first find these two points right here and right here. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and use T for tape measure, click once, move in, I can type in 3 over 4 or 0.75, hit enter, and jump on the opposite side, do the same thing, click once, type in 3 over 4, and enter. Okay, now I'm going to use the protractor, so I'm going to click one time on the protractor. Now what's important here is that I see a green green protractor appear. Let me just rotate this and kind of show you what happens with the protractor. Depending on what face you're on, that color is going to change. So you want to make sure you have a green protractor. If for some reason it keeps changing, you can hold down your shift key on your keyboard and it locks that color in. So I'm going to let go of shift. You can see it turns to blue. But if I hold down my shift key and move away, it still stays green. But once again, if you're using the front view, you shouldn't have that problem. I'm going to go ahead and click once on my guide. Now, my second click can be anywhere along this edge, anywhere I want. And if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, you see the word angle up here. I'm going to click anywhere a second time. And as I move down, so this is zero degrees, as I move down, you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner that number starts to change. I'm going to type in 45. I hit enter. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Click once on my guide. I can click anywhere along this edge. This time I'll just click here. So I've defined zero degrees and I'm going to move away from zero and I'm going to type in 45. I'm going to hit my L for line tool. And I'm going to draw a line from here to here and from here to here. Do a little bit of a rotation for push-pull, click once, there it is, and if you want to get rid of the guides, just go underneath view and turn off guides. There it is. Go ahead and save your work and move on to the next drawing.